The Needles Lighthouse was designed by James Walker, the Trinity House architect, and built in 1858 to mark the outermost rock of the Needles and provide safe passage into the Solent. The light was first lit on the 1st of January 1859 and was manned by lighthouse keepers until the station was automated on the 8th of December 1994. But what was it like to work there as a lighthouse keeper? Right, my name is Jerry Douglas Sherwood. I was a keeper on board the Needles Lighthouse and um, I retired from the Needles in 1994. Hello, my name is Gordon Medlicott. I was a principal keeper here in the early 90s and I worked alongside my colleague here, Jerry. And today we're going to take you inside and show you what it was like to live and work on the Needles Lighthouse. This is the first floor in the basement of Needles Lighthouse, in which we find this generator. It supplies power if there's any interruption with the electric cable that comes through from the mainland. It actually replaces four single-cylinder gardener engines that were fitted in 1946. This is the second room, the one above the engine room, and this was the storeroom. In here we kept station stores, personal food cupboards, um, pyrotechnics, which were flares in case of emergency, and most important, an emergency coal bunker, because coal was normally kept outdoors in the cave behind the lighthouse. Well, this is a kitchen. This is really the heart of the lighthouse. Uh, it's more or less like, like an operation center. It acts as a kitchen and a bathroom and an office and an entertainment room. We have the ovens in here, television and whatever. It's really quite comfortable, but then it'd have to be because we worked for four weeks on and four weeks off. And the crew consisted at that time of one principal keeper and two assistant keepers. This is the bedroom fitted with five curved bunks, which are very comfortable for the keepers. Well, this is uh, the fifth room of the lighthouse and it's known as the service room. And it was here in the early days that lighthouse keepers spent their duty period so that they were in close proximity to the lamp, which is just above our heads. And we'll take you up there to show you what it's all about. This is the toilet, a flush toilet, and it's situated in the service room. Now before this was installed, the keepers used to have to use a bucket upstairs and throw it directly into the sea. But thank goodness since the 1980s, we've had a flush loo. Here we are in the lower lantern. This is where the foghorn was housed uh, from these big air compressors, from the compressors themselves, and there was also the light control equipment. And we're going to take you from here now up into the lantern, which is just above my head. This is a second order chance lens that uses a very small lamp, but it projects its light over 17 miles. Here we are on the lighthouse gallery, which is outside the lantern. Predominantly, it's the steelwork which supports the helipad across the roof. This was built in 1987, although the keepers continued to use the relief boats until its final demanding in 1994. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Needles Lighthouse and it gives you a small insight of what life was really like on board a working lighthouse.